We all ask why we should work this hard, why take that many classes, why go to school that many years, you know, why take the notes, why read the book. Your better future is a dream for yourself and for your family. Where do you want to go? What do you want to do? What do you want to be? What do you want to see? You've got to dream dreams. There's a Bible phrase that says, without dreams and visions, people perish. Why work that hard? Why put yourself through the push-ups and the disciplines? Why? Good question, why? Don't lose your dreams. Do some dreaming. That's long-range goals. You've got to have those. So that's number one. Here's the second part of goals, short-range. Short-range goals. That's your goals for tomorrow, this week, this month, this year, the immediate future. We call these confidence builders. Best answer to why, I think, is the second question. Why not? Because if you set up something short range, go for it, get it, latch, latch on to it, work hard, accomplish it. That starts building your strong feelings to go for your dream. Why not see what you can make of yourself? Why not see how far you can go, how much you can see, how much you can earn, how much you can share? Why not? Right. What a way to live safe and secure. Don't ask for security. Ask for adventure. Why not see how many books you can read, how many classes you can take, how many skills you can develop? Better to live 30 years full of adventure than 100 years safe in the corner. Why not see how valuable you can become to the marketplace, to your friends, and to your family? You can have more than you've got because you can become more than you are. And of course, the other side of the coin reads, unless you change how you are, you'll always have what you got. Why not see what you can make of yourself? Why not see how far you can go, how much you can see? Income does not far exceed personal development. How much you can earn, how much you can share. Why not? You can actually increase your productivity by 50% by simply starting and completing your most important task first thing every day. So if you can do those three things, start with a list, organize the list by priority, and then start on and complete your most important task, you can double and triple your productivity. Most people never pick up the phone and call, most people never ask, and that's what separates sometimes the people that do things from the people that just dream about them. If you're afraid of failing, uh, you won't get very far. So you can learn anything you need to learn to achieve any goal you can set for yourself. All success skills are learnable. All business skills are learnable. All money-making skills are learnable. Everyone who is good at them today that was at one time terrible at them Self-esteem is the disposition to experience oneself as competent to cope with the basic challenges of life and as worthy of happiness. Our self-esteem creates a set of implicit expectations of what is possible and appropriate to us. These expectations tend to generate the actions that turn them into realities, and the realities confirm and strengthen the original beliefs. Okay, so let's just say you have low self-esteem, uh, you don't really feel like you can cope with the challenges of life, you don't really feel like you know, you're appropriate.